Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 11th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to a video here from Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, the Volcano Activity and Planetary Positioning Report for Week 40, 2021, as we have now 12 weeks left in this year. Having a look first at our planetary positions, we are looking at an opposite Mars on the Sun right now, and as well a Mercury et retrograde in which uptick in seismicity was warned, forecasted, and has happened. We also have Venus coming into the mix here really soon, catching up to our planet. But right now, the big thing is the Mercury retrograde in which we experienced an uptick in seismicity since October 7th, October 8th, when it first started. And we're still seeing some pretty big earthquakes. As this morning, we saw a 6.8 in Alaska. Last night, a 6.2 in Hawaii. We can always expect an uptick in seismicity from that retrograde. It's pretty much going to last until about the 14th, until it finally leaves and we'll circle around the sun again. We still have Jupiter and Saturn slowly following behind Earth. As well, we have Neptune. We have left the transition with Neptune and now we are in for a transition with Uranus. And then after that, we're going to be all by ourselves throughout winter for the next 12 weeks, we're going to see a lot of big changes as we enter the winter solstice. And we have an active 50 erupting volcanoes, 50 active and erupting volcanoes across the planet. And that is an uptick since the last report a week ago where we reported 41. So looking at minor stress here through Indonesia plate, and it has been increasing recently. So watch for a couple more to wake up. There's about six showing signs of unrest. As well, minor activity north of South America and through Argentina. Lots of activity through Alaska, Russia, down into Japan. And as well, Africa plate into Europe, where we have that very active La Palma. And as well... Mexico down into South America coast. And let's just have a look at all of the active and erupting volcanoes. They are all the orange icons across this map. And this is from Vi Volcano Discovery, looking at Fagradas Folly, Grinsvan, and as well Askja. Those two showing signs of unrest most likely will awaken shortly. And then we've had the ongoing eruption since September 19th here at La Palma. And we've seen one of the largest earthquakes since the eruption just today. So La Palma has been erupting since September 19th. And just now we're seeing a 4.3 being reported north of all of the activity. And as well, there is a report that went out earlier that there's been a huge uplift in the northern part of the island they say up to 10 inches has uplifted in northern parts. So expect more fissures to open up. As well, we have erupting Etna and Stromboli through the Mediterranean. And then we have this volcano volcano showing signs of unrest. Down into Africa here, we have Earth Ale. Near Miragira, and as well near Gongo, and Aldoño, Aldoño Lenge, a volcano, stratovolcano, eastern Africa. Mayotte showing signs of unrest for about a year now. I'm seeing some minor earthquakes coming back there. You can see in the red. 
through Indonesia now, Merapi, Semeru, and Luatolo. Northern Indonesia with Ibu and Dakono. Papua New Guinea here with Kadavur Volcano. Manam always showing signs of unrest. Langila, minor activity, and as well Bagana, minor activity. Active and erupting Yes Sir Volcano. And as well notable here, showing signs of unrest, the White Island Volcano, New Zealand. Look at all of the earthquakes around there the last 48 hours. Down into Antarctica, the one and only erupting that we know of, Mighty Erubus. Lots of activity here through Indonesia and into the Philippines recently with Ibu and Dekono. Tal Volcano showing signs of unrest. Down and up into Japan now, Swiss and Ajima. Sakirajima. And as well, Era is erupting through there. Not reported here. Nishinashima. And as well, Fukutoku Volcano. Up into Kamchatka. Ebuko Volcano. Karamiski. And as well, Shevaluch. And there are a couple more there in Russia that are not being reported here. They're reported on another site. Through the Aleutian Islands here, Semesnopochnoi. And as well, Great Sitkin. Active and erupting. Cleveland Volcano showing signs of unrest. And as well, Pavlov. Erupted back in August and is still active. And then looking at all these earthquakes, a 6.9 early this morning struck Alaska. Tsunami watches, none were imminent. And as well, Kilauea volcano. And look at this, a 6.2 earthquake rang out in Hawaii last night. And this is all during the Mercury retrograde. This is all connected electromagnetically looking at popo in mexico guatemala here with santiaguito fuego talica volcano masaya moving into south america now where we have the nevadas de ruas ravetador as well sangue down into Peru, where it's been active recently as well. Look at a couple earthquakes just north of the Sabancaya volcano in Peru. Just want to give you a closer look here at that monstrous volcano that is Sabancaya. And look at that northern, north of the volcano is southern Peru. As well, we have active Nevados de Chilean and Villarica. Notable down there, Michael Volcano. So 41 listed here with the Volcano Discovery. And there are many showing signs of unrest. Looking across this map, also noting out today all of the dormant volcanoes and unnamed, unnamed are black. And the green ones are all of the dormant volcanoes across the planet. And we've seen a lot of old awakened volcanoes this year for instance Iceland for instance La Palma the ongoing eruptions at Kilauea and here's the other site uh, overall 50 volcanoes were in continuing eruption status as of August 19th so this hasn't even been updated yet but 50 volcanoes were erupting across the planet here for a week 40 2021 and here is the list of all of the active and erupting notable there Copahu, Rican de la Veja San Cristobal Barren Island Volcano Tofua in Tonga Bezimieni Active Planet and we are definitely seeing the SO2 levels increase. Having a look here at windy.com showing the next 
four days for forecasted SO2 models. And you can see a deep, dark cloud coming out of South Canary, south of the Canary Islands, heading into Africa this week, and then is going to be blowing out towards the equator westward, as it has continued to do so over the last little while with this continuing massive eruption at La Palma. So those are the SO2 models. I'll leave you here looking at the SO2 models across the planet. Notable, all of the active SO2 coming out of Southeast Asia, as well India, and the West Indies. Thanks for watching today. This has been the Volcano Activity and as well plan Planetary Positioning Report for Week 40, 2021. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please consider leaving a like and sharing with a friend or family member. Prayers for humanity. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye-bye now. Much love. Please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.